YouTube, welcome to What's in My Ashtray, the 79 Ford F-150. This stuff has been in here some of it since I owned the truck. I bought this truck in 1998, so someone else can do the math. If I do, I'll just feel old. So, 98 is when I bought the truck. So, let me dump all this out because it's going to be easier than trying to dig through it, and then we'll start going through what we what we see that's in here. I thought we'd just show a picture of how I just took it out, and here it is. Okay, so stay tuned, and we'll dump all this out around the desk. Okay, we'll get you down here close. Some of this stuff's going to be hard to pick up, but eh, let's just start wherever. We got a paper clip, one of those fuse pullers. This is probably a better one than some of them because this pulls your square ones, which I don't have my truck. So I'm sure this pulls your blade, the double bladed modern, not the round ones like this. I, it might, but I still say it's probably for both. That's just the clearance. So I don't really know what this slots for maybe it's those real mini mini ones anyway let's keep moving along okay we got some valve extension because I have hubcaps on my truck a uh, little mini zip tie we're gonna keep that anything we're gonna keep in here we're gonna let's start getting it organized door locks I replaced mine with chrome these are the factory Ford ones I put chrome ones on it Q-tips. I always clean the detail of my dash. I'd use Q-tips to get around the gauges and everything down the little grooves. We don't really need that in there. Another zip tie. Want to keep that. Uh, plug. I'd probably pull this out of the firewall or something to put some wires through. Run an antenna or somewhere so I can always reuse that. Uh, you chop you can chop the tip of this off so then you got to grom it to run wires through. I could have used this the other day when I run some wires because I put a toggle switch on my backup lights. Uh, ew, gross. An old band-aid. Maybe it was a look look like it could a band-aid or no some kind of sticker. Yeah it's not a band-aid. Band-aid color. Probably get a little bit of glare off some stuff here. Let's let's try that. A key, I don't know what it goes to. Uh, here's some heavy duty extensions. My cap I use metal caps that are plastic because they can crack and there's a rubber gasket in there. I don't know, you can probably won't see it. That's what I use on my truck, heavy duty use. So there's a heavy duty metal extension. Uh, wire nut, uh, terminal connectors. Uh, some light bulbs, I can't tell you my truck had like this. Mine's been modified. This could be like the factory bulb for dome light. A uh, piece of glue stick. I'll, I'll make a video someday how I use glue stick. I keep saying that. Glue stick and a candle. This is off my carburetor. I have one somewhere for the rear end of my truck. And I forgot this at the parts store. I'm glad the guy found it the next day. So I took this off to get a carburetor kit years ago. So that should be put back on my carburetor. Uh, these come when you get a master cylinder. And it plugs. You used to have hoses where you run the fluid back in. Now it's kind of stupid. You want to just plug it off and pump it so the air bubbles disappear if you ever bled a master cylinder in a bench vise. Uh, marker bulbs. You get marker bulbs on the side of your car. My license plate lights the same way. These little push in. I need to get some sockets for my back. I got one that's corroded. I have double license plate lights. Paper clip. Uh, these, I can tell you what they are. These are reducer washers for an EGR valve. Okay, you know, if you're not a mechanic, you're probably confused. The EGR valve goes on your intake, recirculates exhaust gas. They're different port sizes. So you get different washers. Uh, crap like this. Bolts and screws. Uh, stuff I found metal detecting. So who knows where I found this. That's kind of pretty. You know, it's just fake jewelry. Uh, 
screws. These hold like your CB radios. They're a thumbnail screw to the slot, like your old 70s CB radios. Uh, one corner is kind of weird. United States of America. This side says I got to take my glass off. James Madison. This is a presidential coin. Well, it's a dollar. I've never seen one of these. If anybody's ever seen one of these, I'm going to take a picture of this. I do not recall seeing these dollar coins of a president. So, something I found metal detecting. So here's another one of them screws for radio. So we won't really go through the money. Shell casing, something I found metal detecting. Stuff like this I'll take a picture of. I can't really tell you. Western 410, made in USA. Wow, I did could read that. Into a 410 shell. I may take a picture of that. Uh, 222 shells. More fuses. I think these are too long for my truck, but in an emergency I can break the glass, shorten them up. We won't even go into that, but they can be used in an emergency in a shorter situation by breaking the glass and bending them. Uh, butt connectors. Another 22 shell. It's going to be a long video. These probably were on the bottom of a radio or something. I took them off. I used to take mobile CB radios. I put these rubber feet on the bottom so it could sit on the desk. You could still hear the speaker. And there's four of them in here. There is there. Yeah, we got four of them. Okay. Kind of get. Uh. Oh, it's dirt. And, uh, so I don't use it for an ashtray. Uh, like my Ford, it has real small fuses like this for the courtesy lights and instrument lights. It has real short fuses, so I keep them in there. Those will go back in there. Uh, wood screw. These are like for uh, when you put your, put your garage door together to hold the hinges between the sections. You'll get a bunch of these self like self tappers. Even though they ain't, they make a hole, but they're self-threading, I should say. They have a hole, like for your garage door hinges. You can buy these. These are nice screws, metal screws. You want to make a ground somewhere, just take a sharp punch, punch a hole, and it kind of flares the hole, and you get what I mean, then you make your own thread. So that's why that's probably in there, in case I want to make a ground. This looks like a piece of solder. I guess you can heat it up with your lighter. You need to solder a connection. This is a rubber cover off a toggle switch. Don't even need that. I put that in my junk stuff. A uh, couple of sorted eyelet connectors. Old dirty quarters I found metal detecting. Look at the chunk out of that. Sometimes I just go out metal detecting somewhere, not get a whole lot. I just kind of pitch it in the ashtray. Uh, quarter inch headed self tapping like stove pipe sheet metal screws with the little drill bit on it. Keep that in case I want to put a ground. There's a couple more, a couple more. And a 22 shell. An old rusty galvanized nail, which I probably just picked up so it didn't be on the ground. More fuses. Jeez, I was looking for fuses. I got enough in the ashtray to do the whole fuse box. Uh, a little square net. More on them. I took the radio out of the truck spot with them or four. It had a CB in it. Well, that just about covers enough at eight minutes. You gotta be bored of a little copper strip. I'll probably tell you what I had this. I had a battery where the terminal was smaller than the clamp, and I cut some copper strip and wrapped around the post inside the terminal, you know, your old school post, and then clamped it. That's probably where that copper came from. That's a good trick to learn how to do. There you go. I'll take some pictures of some of the, like that coin, which I don't, not used to seeing a dollar coin like that. So, thanks for watching. This is an entirely too long. They're just too much. This, like I said, this mostly just money and screws. Do this. So, like I said, thanks again for watching. We'll leave you some pictures of some of the small odd stuff.